Today was a good day. I went to the movies, movie theater, for the first time in over two years. Missed a lot, and I was able to get through it and watch without discomfort. And it's a good sign. It's good to indication of my progress and I'm pretty fucking thrilled. I'm also proud of myself that after I still despite lack of time got in my eight thousand steps did another set of cars, did another set of shoulder work and I'm doing this video in my journal so I'm proud of myself for the most part today still lacked focus, still didn't have a target didn't focus on goals, didn't create a set of goals so got some work to do Daily Stoic today was Don't be deceived by misfortune or by fortune. Um, it's a quote from Seneca saying, No one is crossed by fortune unless they are at first deceived by her. Those who aren't pompous in good times won't have their bubble burst with change. Against either circumstance, the stable person keeps their rational soul invincible, for per it is precisely in good times that they prove their strength against adversity. Um, first, so well, it's from a from a letter sent by Seneca. Uh, it was post him getting exiled in 41 A.D. Um, from Rome to Corsica, and it's not sure why he got exiled, but the rumors are that he had an affair with the emperor's sister. So he was kicked out, and this letter was sent to his mother, but also could have been kind of to himself, um, kind of yelling, kind of admonishing himself um, for the situation he was in, because he reached, he managed to achieve a certain level of um, success both politically and socially and then because of this supposed affair he lost it all and his, him and his whole family suffered the consequences of it um, and there are some letters that say he like begged and uh, lobbied for his return to Rome and return to power, which he eventually got, but despite all that, he supposedly handled the disgrace and pain. He bore it well, born it, is what they said in the book. Um, and it was from his studies of philosophy, his studies of philosophy prepared him for this situation, it gave him the determination and patience to wait it out. And then once he got it back, it 
allowed him to not take this power for granted. So, yeah. Also, back to the movie Shang Chung Chi. It was fucking bonkers. And I really liked it. It's had some issues, but for the most part, it was just fun to be back in the theater. Teared up during the credits, just the fact that I was able to do it again. It's one of my favorite places to be. And yeah, so memorable day. Good day overall. Uh, another thing I've noticed is I feel like buoys aren't filling that hole anymore. Isn't kind of giving me that same satisfaction feeling like it's really um, yeah but it just doesn't give me that same satisfaction I guess and I think it's because the more I'm listening to motivational stuff and just stuff to repro or, uh, reprogram my brain like listening to Kobe Bryant like my standards for what makes me happy is more has shifted to my own decisions and actions and how I perform those and I just feel like I'm experiencing a shift from the lover archetype to the warrior and it's good because I'm not experiencing the imbalance of the addicted lover um, kind of just getting obsessed with ideas and actually wanting to not even wanting to just this impulsive need to act and um, basing my or not basing but like just that sense of satisfaction and contentment comes from different sources now like virtue and action and stuff so good things